All right, so let me just say something really quick. I've been doing this for a good three days in a row now. This is like the third time I'm doing project, like hashtag project, nine minute video. And yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. I'm like, and I'm not sure if this is going to be good for, for YouTube. It's going to be good for me, honestly. But for you guys watching this, or if ever you do watch this, hopefully I am bringing some sort of value. If not, then leave a comment so I can fix where I went wrong. Because that's the whole purpose of this, you know. Get good at something. Fix what's not working and the whole process. I'm like, I can get away with it. This is fairly a brand new channel. I just started a month ago. And, you know, this also gives me an excuse, <laughs> excuse, to actually put something on Instagram because, you know, I want to put something on Instagram. And, you know, that's why we're using this format again, because this, this whole 4x5 aspect ratio is really good for Instagram. And it works on YouTube. If you're watching it on mobile, just, you know, do portrait mode. All right. Anyway, so for today's topic, we're going to be talking about... What was it? Uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about time management. Yes. So I'm Josh B. Castro and welcome to my channel. So time, time is a very important thing. All right, I want you to think of time as money. All right, people say time is money, but no, no. Time is more valuable than kachinga. All right, it's, it's more valuable than uh, the, the money. It is. Uh, so what I want to say is, Treat time more important than you value the idea of money. Because money is just, just a currency, just a piece of paper that you can buy things, right? But time, time is limited, all right? As, as with money, money is technically unlimited depending on how well you perceive it. Is it really? I don't know. Probably not. But time is more limited as compared to money. So you treat time, treat time with respect. All right, I'm, I'm talking to even you, future me. All right, I'm talking to you who's currently lazing around watching Netflix 24-7. Yeah, you can watch, watching Netflix ain't bad. All right, you have to take a break. We're going to talk about breaks tomorrow. I just thought of that a while ago when I was in the... And then we're going to... Yeah, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So yeah, breaks are cool. All right, watching Netflix every now and then. But don't do it 24-7. Don't waste your time. All right, so yeah, where was I? What was I, what was I? Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, uh, time management. All right, so there's tools for that. All right, there's this technique that I've been using for the past, I don't know, two months. Ever since I actually started this channel, actually even before that, it's called the Pomodoro technique. I'm pretty sure you heard of the tomato, right? Tomato, tomato. It's the same. Uh, so yeah, the Pomodoro technique. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically where you break your time down uh so you you focus i'm like you're starting a project you're starting the work say you clock in for the day or you're gonna start you know your youtube journey your you know your learning your editing your your thought process you know your video ideas that's what you're gonna do today all right this, so the pomodoro technique basically says ah, cut all of that rephrase it all right so yeah, starting your day, Ugh. 25 minutes, there, let's just say that, 25 minutes <laughs> for the first, you, all right, so what I'm trying to do, I need to define Pomodoro technique so that I'm not confusing you because I'm confusing myself right now. So the Pomodoro technique is basically where you allow the first 25 minutes as focused work, all right, for the first 25 minutes. You're working. And then after that, for five minutes, you take a break. You stand up, drink some water. You go out, get some fresh air, look at the sky, look at the trees. You know, don't don't sit forever. It, it gives you a reason to stand up too. Do some exercise, do some fitness, do some push-ups, some pull-ups, jump rope, whatever floats your boat for five minutes. Drink some water. Did I say that? If I did, that means it's important. Uh... Yeah, just go out for five minutes, come back, hit the clock, start another 25 minutes, and do that whole process again four times. So that's the Pomodoro technique. On the fourth time, all right, so it's 25, 5, 25, 5, 25, 5, 25, 30, 
or 20 minutes all right you can take a 20 to 30 minute break after four cycles of doing that so let's say one pomodoro is 25 is 30 minutes right so 25 minute focused on work intentional work and then five minute break that's one pomodoro one pomodoro cycle is four pomodoros plus a long break of 20 to 30 minutes so that's one pomodoro cycle all right then you do that how many times you can fit it within the day i'm like you can do two pomodoro cycles back to back that that gives you like four hours of actual straight work take a lunch break take a longer break go back in the evening or you know between your leisure then you don't you work again and you do another four hours so that's eight hours a day that's eight hours of work because normally we work eight hours in a day so yeah if you do four pomodoro cycles that's your eight hours of work and then the other eight hours you can you know a lot for leisure you know no one will blame you i'm like you, you know you've been productive you've been highly productive because you will focus you see the hard thing with actually working on something is actually starting the starting is is interesting because there, there's going to be days and i tell you there will be days where you're not gonna feel like doing anything you don't feel like doing anything you just don't want you know you have to do something you know there's something you want to do there's a brand you want to start there's a video you want to edit there's a video you want to record there is a video you want to plan out but you just don't feel like it all right then the, yeah use the pomodoro technique as an excuse all right so just it's 25 what's 25 minutes 25 minutes is like one anime episode one netflix series even half of a netflix series because you know netflix series can go as long as an hour long now so yeah, it's just 25 minutes. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm like, if you don't feel like doing the whole four Pomodoros or the whole Pomodoro cycle, just do one. All right? And then that will actually do wonders because that, that start, that push will actually drive you. You know, it just starts the flow. It starts the flow process. All right? There's no actually hard rule when it comes to the Pomodoro technique because there's going to be times where you're actually in a state of flow and you don't want that interrupted. So assuming that the 25 minutes is up and then you're like you're really into it you're like you're coding like a mad genius then don't stop just continue that continue that feeling don't let go of that because maybe ideas will disappear maybe during the five minutes that that state will disappear who knows but that that's why I don't take a break longer than five minutes five minutes is enough you can probably overshoot a little but yeah, don't go as long as 10 minutes because then that's just basically half of an extended break. So, yeah, there. So, yeah, I pretty much talked about the Pomodoro technique in this video. But it's a good time management tool. At the end of the day, whatever tool you do decide to choose, use it. All right, Because time, again, is valuable. Time is more important than, you know, money. And you have to use it wisely. All right. As a wise person said, I don't have any wise people in my head right now. But if I did quote someone, it would have been epic. But make sure that you know you respect time, and you treat it as important as you treat well whatever you believe is important. You know, it's up to you: money, fame, wealth, richness, religion, whatever. All right, anyway, guys, so hopefully you guys did find value out of this video, and hopefully I am improving. If not, then I need to smile more. All right, so this is going to be nine minutes. See ya.